In today's video, I'll show you how you can make your own BCRs for your MTH ProtoSound 1 and ProtoSound 2 engines. The benefit of this is you can remove the battery permanently and replace it with a BCR, which is much more reliable. This reliability tends to extend the performance of your ProtoSound 1 and ProtoSound 2 engines so you can enjoy them for many years. In this video, I will show you how to create both variations of BCR. The original BCR, which is used for ProtoSound 1 and ProtoSound 2 5 volt engines, and the second type of BCR, which is used for your ProtoSound 2 3 volt engines. So, let's get started. The first BCR we'll make is the ProtoSound 1 and ProtoSound 2 5 volt BCR, which is the replacement for the existing 9 volt battery in these engines. Links for all of the components I've used to make these BCRs will be listed in the comments below. Some of the links are affiliate links, and any support you can give the channel is greatly appreciated. To make this BCR, we'll need four 2.7 volt 3.3 farad supercapacitors, or 2.7 7 volt 500 milliwatt Zener diodes, a battery connector for a 9 volt battery, and heat shrink tubing. Like with both of the BCRs we'll be making today, we need wire strippers and wire snippers, soldering iron, solder, and some flux. To get started, each capacitor has a long pin and a short pin. The long pin is the positive of the capacitor. The short pin is the negative of the capacitor. What we're going to want to do is take some flux and add it to the pins of the capacitor and then take one of our diodes and have the black band of the diode face towards the positive of the capacitor and the other side face towards the negative. So the black band is going to be facing towards the larger pin of the capacitor. Then twist the diode onto the pins so they stay in place. We'll do it now for the other three capacitors and diodes. Now we're going to use a small amount of solder to solder the diode to the pins of the capacitor. And now we'll trim the excess wires off of the diode so that it's flush to the pins of the capacitor. Now we'll take each capacitor and join them so that the positive side of one capacitor is twisted to the negative side of the other capacitor. We'll then add some flux and solder the pins together. And then we'll trim the excess off of the pins. We now have four capacitors wired in series where the longer pin is the positive and the shorter pin is the negative. The black wire of the 9 volt connector must connect to the longer pin, whereas the red wire must connect to the shorter pin. Then we'll add some flux and connect the pins of the connectors while using some heat shrink tubing.
To finish off the BCR, we're going to take some one inch heat shrink tubing and put the entire BCR inside of it, trim it at the end, and then heat shrink the entire tubing so that the BCR and all the electrical components are protected. Now that we've completed our BCR, let's go test it out in an engine. Now we'll make the BCR for the Protosan 2 3 volt engines. This BCR is significantly easier to make. All we need is a JST 2 pin plug, a 5 volt 2.5 farad supercapacitor, some heat shrink tubing, and of course our tools. In this case, the red wire is going to go to the positive of the capacitor and the black wire is going to go to the negative of the capacitor, both of which are shown on both sides of this capacitor. To complete our BCR, we're going to again wrap it in one inch heat shrink tubing to completely encapsulate the capacitor and protect the electronic components. Now that we have our finished BCR, let's go test it in a Protosound 2 3 volt engine. And that about wraps up this tutorial. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you would like to see future content like this. Also make sure to leave any comments or questions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.